At this point in the season, man, we gotta ask ourselves something. Is sweating and grinding the game worth it for these cards that we get for free? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Let's get it. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's in the AK. We can stop this grind, I'll wait. Time's up, nigga. All right, man, before we even continue the video, I just wanna let you guys know, I just played a tournament. I won three games. And then the fourth game I met into the I met ran into somebody that was using this. I don't need to say nothing else after that. Because for some reason, 2K decided that we're not gonna fix the Zen on PS4. I know I don't cover day-to-day -day topics on this channel, but there's a reason why I don't. If I cover day-to-day -day topics, it would be outdated really quickly. It's a small channel. We grown, but it's a small channel. So I rack up views over time. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I don't cover day-to-day -day topics. No, I think the best way for me to do that is to stream. And I will be streaming more often. Appreciate you guys that have been subbing, man. Thanks for watching my video. So what I want to talk about now, I want to talk about these season rewards that we get into. Okay. Season rewards aren't even worth it anymore. Why? Because they keep dropping better and better cards each week. When we look at a Kawhi Leonard, he is good. He's just a little bit better than the cards that's already out there. You lose so much MT just grinding for Kawhi Leonard. Hundreds and thousands of MT. Why? Because they have that dumbass 10% tax in the auction house. And also, when you buy a card and you do the challenge, let's say it takes you about an hour to do a challenge. By the time you try to sell that card, the price is already going to be down like five, three, four, five thousand dollars When you could just save those MT and then buy who you want. Kawhi Leonard is not game breaking. There's a lot of cards out there that you can use that could easily replace Kawhi Leonard. So when you think about all the grinding that you have to do just to get a card that's only a little bit better than the cards that's already available, what's the point? Even if we go to the unlimited season rewards, the last tier, you gotta win 12 in a row. And right now in the game, it's super hard to win 12 in a row. And all we get is a player. We don't even get a Galaxy Oval box. Like, I feel like that should be a thing. And why are we getting diamond cards in the pink diamond box? That don't make no sense. Put a pink diamond player in the pink diamond box. We need better prizes in our limited boxes. I, I don't think you should just win 12 in a row and get one card that's not going to be worth it in like the middle of the season. Look at Kevin McHale. How many people you see using Kevin McHale? I don't know if it's the lack of people not having him. Or just the fact that there are better cards out there, like AD and Akeem Elijah One, and they just drop a center, a Giannis at center. I know he can't shoot, but it's still Giannis. He's gonna get buckets. Why is the vault so hard to open to get the pink diamond card? I've played over 200 games trying to get Terry Dishinger. I've seen people saying they played over 500 games, 700 games. Why are people playing that many games and still can't get the card? It's it's it's, it's stupid. I understand the packs. You're trying to make money with the packs. What are you trying to make with the rewards online, like uh, on the game? Like, what are you trying to make? You're not trying to make anything. If you're giving us a free card, stop acting like you're losing money when, when we're supposed to get the free card. And make it so the pink diamond card is easier to get. I shouldn't play 100 games and not get the pink diamond card. Like, what are you doing? I don't have that much time to play on this game. And I'm creating content. What about the regular people that just want to play and have fun? Why are you making it so hard for them to get? It? So I, I I don't know, man. Let me know how you guys feel about that. If you guys are gonna continue grinding for season rewards, are you just gonna wait for 2K to drop packs and, and you know pick up some of these cheesy cards? I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys want to do in the comments. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video.